Kenya is a land flowing with milk and honey. Our abundant resources provide vital revenues that drive our nation's growth and development. From the bustling cities to the breathtaking countryside, Kenya's 47 counties are at the heart of our nation, each one adding its unique touch to our shared prosperity. The Commission on Revenue Allocation established by Article 215 of the Constitution plays a crucial role in ensuring the equitable sharing of revenues between the national and county governments and among the counties themselves. The principal function of the Commission on Revenue Allocation is to recommend the basis for equitable sharing of revenue raised by the national government. The sharing is done vertically, that is between the national and county governments, and also horizontally among the 47 county governments. Secondly, other functions include to recommend on matters concerning the financing and financial management of both the national and county governments, and where appropriate, define and enhance revenue sources of the national and county governments. The Commission also has constitutional interpretation and application investigation, conciliation, mediation, and negotiation functions. A crucial aspect of the Commission's core mandate entails supporting county governments to enhance their revenues. The law permits counties to levy fees and charges from a number of revenue streams, including trade licensing, market trade center fees, hospital fee and public health services, property rates, parking fees, advertising and signboard fees, among others. Although Kenya's 47 counties have the potential to collectively raise at least 216 billion shillings annually, they only managed to raise about 45 billion in the financial year 2022 to 2023. So once we launch uh, this model policy, the next step will be CRA to disseminate the policy to the 47 counties. Thereafter, the counties will be expected to domesticate the policy and adopt it to their requirements. The policy will then guide the counties to develop laws for the relevant revenue streams, because each stream must have a primary law for the county to be able to collect revenue from that particular stream. So today marks a very important day in the calendar of CRA as we launch this models and pricing policy. It is indeed a very proud moment for the Commission on Revenue Allocation and Kenya at large as we launch the first ever model tariffs and pricing policy in East, West and Central Africa. From 2017, where the counties were charging fees and levies to provide services, for example, parking fees, market access fees, building approval fees. And a lot of times there was no information as to what the county government would provide in terms of services from the county government. My department realized that we have an important role as the Commission of Revenue and Education to provide a legal and policy framework for county governments to be able to base these fees and charges. For example, the cost of providing parking has an element of providing a parking space, providing security, and also a lighting system and, and, and a safe place for cars to park. Therefore, the county governments have a cost in making sure that those capital expenses have been paid for. But in turn, the residents in the counties are required to pay a fees so that they can be able to maintain those services that the county provides. Despite Section 120 of the County Governments Act requiring each county to develop a tariffs and pricing policy, as a basis for levying fees and charges for their services, none has complied. This remains true even 13 years after the onset of devolved government. Siyatu kilipu utakana amani, unalipa na bado, unakimbizo bado. Utali, 
No. Ah ah, upe wangu receipti. Ujapo huyu hamsini ni yeye. Kasi ni mbio tu hapa. Eh? Kama hivi panaweza kuwa kuna customer hapa kana akana niuzia. So tumemaliza kuelewana. Hiyo kancho imekuja sasa yule wakati yangu kimbia labda nimempea kiato na hajanilipa siwezi simama hapo na kimbia labda ta, ta, anabeba ile kiato after promulgation of the 2010 constitution counties continued levying fees and charges with no legal basis contrary to the provisions of section 120 of the county governments act this model policy therefore promotes compliance with the law secondly the model policy will guide the counties to levy fees that are commensurate to the service provided this will give confidence and comfort to the mwananchi given that the mwananchi would have participated in determining the charge or levy through public participation mwananchi should only pay fees that are commensurate to the services provided by the counties the model policy once domesticated by the counties will help identify through a cost benefit analysis the key revenue streams that are cost effective in relation to the administration costs what we are saying here is if the cost of collecting that revenue is more than the actual revenue being collected then the county may not want to adopt that as a revenue stream as we prepare to roll out the model policy for county governments to adopt we anticipate a positive change fees and charges will be clearly explained and aligned with the actual costs of services this move will build greater trust between residents and county officials it will also promote transparency and accountability and ultimately better service delivery let me take this opportunity to sincerely thank his excellency the president dr william ruto It was actually him who initiated this process when he was the deputy president and the chair of IBEC that is the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council. This was a, as a result of complaints that were arising from the traders and the farmers because of the duplicity and multiplicity of fees and charges that were being leveled at both levels of government. I also would wish to sincerely thank the current chair of IBEC Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa the deputy president I also wish to thank the national treasury for the financial support they have given this process I thank the public finance management reform secretariat who came out initially and have now funded also the launch today The State Department for Trade and Enterprise Development, the State Department for Public Works, the State Department for Housing and Urban Development, the Kenya Investment Authority, the County Governments of Machakos, Kiambu, and Nairobi for having been kind enough to allow us to use their live data.